Hi everyone, Gary O'Neill. Welcome back to Intuitive Solutions. And today I just wanted to briefly talk about branding. Um, as you probably know, if you've seen a few of my videos, I seem to always get these epiphanies uh, when I go out and kind of get my head out of the computer and actually kind of experience some things and take in some things. And, you know, it was a kind of a two-part experience. One was when I was on my Twitter stream and the other one was when I had went to a Whole Foods. But starting off with Twitter, you know, I, I really started to kind of understand the reality of, you know, being an entrepreneur in the digital age. And as, as great as it is and the access that's available and the ability to connect with people, all of those things are such positive things. You know, it's kind of like, you know, more power to the people, you know, in terms of um, now how we communicate. You know, we can change elections. We can vote for presidents. We can support this person or this organization or this cause, and it's all great. But I was looking at it from specifically an entrepreneur standpoint, and I started thinking, what is it, you know, that will allow entrepreneurs to really segment themselves and position themselves above and beyond their competitors? And, you know, when you're on Twitter, you can go and even if you put social media, you know, in the search box, you come up with thousands of people that are considered either social media experts or consultants and all these different things. And you can do the same thing for different areas of business, whether it's entrepreneur, funding, all this type of stuff. And it really got me thinking that, you know, you used to be able, your competitor, you could basically look out your window and see your competitor and understand what he was doing. And you could either walk down the street and, and figure out stuff he was doing. But in today's age, you really, your competition is like having a million stores on the same block as you doing the same thing. And, you know, to be able to really, you know, make yourself stand out amongst the crowd is a much, much harder task today than it, it has ever been. And it really got me back to the idea of branding. And I think a lot of times in the digital space, you know, branding kind of gets lost. And I think it's actually more important now than ever. Because when you really look at people that stand out today, I don't care if it's Lady Gaga or even the Kardashians, whether certain business owners like Richard Branson or, or even Mark Zuckerberg. It's really about building a, a platform that you own, meaning not just having a website or having a business, but a platform meaning an ideology, you know, something that you stand for, something that you can communicate uniquely uh, to the audience so you can stand out. Because when you really look at the digital space, it's about data and information. And everybody has data and information, which means you're kind of the flavor of the week sometimes, depending on if your data or your information is compelling that week or that day. And to me, that is a rough, rough road to travel when you're really trying to be a differentiator in your business. So I have a few points that I think that you can take back with you that are going to that's going to help you differentiate. And I think the main one is to understand and discover what you stand for. And once you figure that out, then you need to take that idea and, and, and what you stand for and communicate that consistently in everything that you do. Because that's going to allow your voice to be heard and people will be engaged into your conversations and into your content because of you and because of what you stand for and your information and your data and your products will become secondary because they have bought into the idea of who you are and what your company is about. It's much like my experience at Whole Foods. You know, I have a Kroger right across the street and there's a Whole Foods 15 miles away from here. But i rather drive the 15 miles because I love what Whole Foods stands for. And when I go into that store, it makes me feel good because I feel like 
I'm a part of what they're trying to accomplish. And for me, that that's a level of attachment that just buying pure groceries just doesn't do. So, you know, so that's that's what I'm saying when I when you when you build that type of communication level and that platform is really understand what you're doing. This was a great post for me because it really I always have these moments of enlightenment and this was one of them. And I'm going to practice it a lot more in my own business and in MJ. And um, till next time, I hope you have a great day. See you next time.